Hi right, guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, squaring quadratic brackets. All right, so to get started, I mean, there's nothing different um, to what we are doing, um, what we did from the previous video. All right, the only difference is in this case is you've got a little squared sign. So if you remember from uh, index expressions is that x plus 2 squared can be written as x plus 2 times x plus 2 all right and that's it from here you can pretty much do either your foil method or expanding brackets um, the other couple of methods or even the quick and fast way which is in this case um, I'll actually do the expansion method and I'll um, show you guys the other the quick way as well real quickly so x and x we've got x squared and then we've got x and 2 is 2x and 2 times x is also 2x and finally the last which is 2 times 2 which is positive 4 and summing it up I've got x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now I could have done this uh, the quick and easy way as well which meant if I had x plus 2 times x plus 2 I write it up as x squared x so I got to figure out what these two numbers add up to so 2 plus 2 is 4 so that's 4 and then 2 times 2 is also 4 so I could actually leave my answer here as 4 so this would be x squared plus 4x plus 4 now one thing that I've noticed people do in this squaring brackets is that you know, I really would like to do an experiment on this, but um, just to see how many people, regardless of how many times they do this, they always make this mistake. When they see x plus 2 squared, they write the answer as x squared plus 4. All right. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the most common mistake people do with expanding quadratic brackets. They always put it as x squared plus um, 4. They always forget that middle term. So that's basically squaring brackets. Um, and now I want to have a look at what happens if it's cubing brackets. All right. Basically, with cubing brackets, all it is is you've got x plus 2 times x plus 2 times another x plus 2. Now, we already did this in our first example in, in the previous slide. So we know that this is x squared plus 4x plus 4 and now it's being multiplied by x plus 2 so how we do this is pretty much what we've been doing the the same kind of idea before is you take each one and you multiply it with the other missing variable so for example here you would go x squared times x so x squared times x I don't know if I'll have enough well, I'm actually just gonna write it up as it is x squared times x is x cubed then you've got x squared times 2, so that's going to be 2x squared. Then you have 4x times x, which equals 4x squared. Uh, then you've got 4x times 2, which is 8x. And then the last bit, which is 4 times x. And 4 times 2, which is 8. So simplifying this, I'm going to get x cubed. And I'm looking for my like terms. So my first is my x squared. Those are all my x squared, which is 6x squared. Then I've got all my x's. So that's going to be 12x and 8 by itself, finally. I mean, this is just for next year, guys, later on if you need to. And that's pretty much how you do for squaring brackets. All right. Thank you for watching.